nothing to do You tell me you love me I go start the coffee Sunday morning easy love With you Okay, okay, okay I'm your sunshine mixed with a little hurricane White hot angel with the dead devil's brain This feeling I just can't everybody. fight to all of my cool cast and kittens. I'm gonna try to film this intro super, super quickly because I can see my roommate walking back right now and I wanna make sure that I get it filmed before she is in here, but I am just starting off another vlog today. I don't really know what this vlog is gonna be, if it's gonna be like a weekly vlog or just today, but I had class this morning, which is why I did not film this morning. Then as you guys just saw, I made my coffee and I am currently uploading the video for today. Today's Monday, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, and then I'm gonna start editing another video. So um, that is the deal, that is the tea. I got my birthday gift from my parents. I got a gift card to Dunkin', which I'm super excited about, and then like all of my insurance stuff. And then my mom cuts out like magazines that she thinks I'll like. Um, so that was really nice. I got that this morning, but yeah, that's just what I've been doing this morning um, Make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit Alrighty, you guys so I have 15 minutes before I have to leave for work But I figured I would show you what I'm going to eat for lunch. I just got a sandwich With cheese and tomatoes banana peppers and pickles and then I'm just gonna put this Italian dressing on it And then I'm gonna watch 15 minutes of Grey's Anatomy, which you cannot see before I leave, if you watch Grey's Anatomy, please comment down below like your favorite chips, your least favorite chips, like your favorite things that happened, your least favorite things that happened. I right now am on season five, but like I know everything that happens. I'm kind of rewatching it, but I stopped at season five last two, so I'm gonna try to like push through. I just really don't like Owen and Christina. Like I'm kind of liking them, but like I don't want to like them because I love Burke so much. So let me know your thoughts down below. It's that time, folks. It is that time. So obviously I couldn't leave this in because of copyright, so I thought I would give you a little rendition. You're feeling nervous because I'm crazy for you. Judge me once and you know it's true. I never wanted anyone like this. It's so brand new. Alrighty, we're gonna do the recap, recap real quick so we don't get annoyed by the judges talking. That was Justina and Sasha with a rumba, Crazy For You by Madonna. It was not a quarterfinal stance, sorry. I really like them, but it was just, she was not bringing, like, the choreography was not bringing it. But, loved the song. I don't know what's going on with tonight's episode. Nelly and Daniela literally ate and left no crumbs. Their dance was phenomenal and they like tore it apart and were like this wasn't jazzy enough and I agree it wasn't jazzy enough but Nelly doesn't choreograph it you know and he's the one getting scored they got all eights Justina and Sasha also got all eights and then AJ and Cheryl went on and let me tell you they had a few hiccups I'm sorry y'all are probably skipping through this because of how bad the framing is they had a few hiccups I mean, like, it was rough. And the judges were like, oh, it's okay. It was just one little thing. Like, it was just, you've done that dance a hundred, perfect, a hundred times. I know, I, it was just a hiccup this time. It's like, yeah, when when Susan Gray from Grey's Anatomy had the hiccups, okay? Those were the hiccups they had. And they did get a lower score, but they got two eights. And, like, they were, these three dances were not equal. Like, the highest score tonight has been a 24 out of 30. And it's week nine, I know this is gonna be iconic and I don't want it to be. It's Caitlyn and Artem. They got a 30 and my prediction is that Caitlyn and Artem and Neve and Jenna are gonna be the top two two weeks from now at the finals and I low-key hope she wins because I like Artem. You can't see, but all I can say for Johnny and Britt is incredible, amazing, spectacular, show-stopping, absolutely never the same, never been done before. Sky ate and left no crumbs. Not them doing Wake Me Up Before You Go Go to a Jive. I'm obsessed with this song. 
Hello guys. Yes, it is me, the girl who cannot film all day. But I got something exciting today. I think I mentioned it earlier in this video or a couple vlogs ago maybe that I'm trying to get the pink out of my hair. And my cousin who is a hairdresser told me to use a clarifying shampoo. So today I did a little Google shit. A little Google shit. A little Google shit. A little Google search on the best clarifying shampoos. And I got a list of like 10 best clarifying shampoos. And this sucker came up. And I wanted to avoid having to drive to like an Ulta to get a $20 shampoo. And Suave, that's gonna be cheap, right? Well, I've gone on the Target website and this sucker was $2. So I don't have a super ton amount of faith in it. Um, I also think it's probably gonna make my hair like bratty or like naughty. So we're gonna try this tonight, but I wanted to kind of see like a before. I don't think it's gonna do much in one round. I also don't think I'm gonna put it on my roots. I'll just wash my hair with my regular shampoo. I think, cause like I don't know if it would do anything to my roots. I think like a good clarifying shampoo, like a a salon one probably would, but this sucker probably isn't going to. I don't know, we'll see. Stay tuned. Good morning, you guys. I am so sorry for the way that I look right now and like the background and the water you can probably hear, but I have class on Zoom today at nine o'clock. My 8 a.m. started an hour late and it's on Zoom. And this is one of the only places that you can be without a mask on other than your dorm room. And it's actually freezing in here. I might have to put my coat back on but it's just like a piano practice room. So obviously you can take your mask off like if you're singing. And my professor just said that like, if you wanna come in and do Zoom in here, you can. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna be in here all morning because I have to do my homework that's due at five and I have to work today until one, from one to four. And then at four, we are actually going to the beach with Miss Karina because she's leaving tomorrow which is really, really sad, but I am super, super happy for her because she is super, super excited to go home. So that is that is the morning we are having. Also, update on the shampoo, which was the last clip you probably saw. It looked like pink was coming out in the shower, but I don't really see much fading in my hair. So I think this weekend I might like put it in my hair and then sleep with it on and shower it off in the morning and see if that does anything. Um, we'll see. was kind of not the best a solid five out of ten and then there was a hurricane and we had two tornado warnings and there was like a little fire or just maybe the alarm went off in the kitchen in the dining hall so it was like a whole day and I ended up having to work because of the hurricane and we were supposed to stay in our dorms so I ended up getting everything that I needed done done so fast because I thought I was gonna have to work so I literally didn't do anything last night I just ate and watched Grey's Anatomy which I can't even tell you how much I love that show you guys and then today I really didn't do anything either I had zoom class because of the hurricane and then I edited a video I was productive today but I don't I didn't feel very productive and tonight I thought I would take you along with how I shower in a disgusting communal bathroom and how I try to make it a little less unbearable. So this is the shampoo and conditioner I use. Um, my cousin is actually a hairstylist or a hairdresser, cosmetologist, <laughs> um, and she got this for me. So I'm not sure if you can buy it online. I'll definitely check, but I love them and they last me such a long time. And I think I actually showed this earlier in the vlog is the clarifying shampoo I am trying to use to get the pink out of my hair. So I'll probably wash my hair twice with this and then once with that so it doesn't feel as tangly and dry and then 
condition and then I always walk my face in the shower I think I'm gonna use this because my face is getting a little pimply so I think that guy down there might be the culprit and then these are the native body wash bars um native as in the deodorant this is the coconut one I believe and I actually really really like them and then obviously just a regular razor I already took out my contacts and brushed my hair and if I was not filming I would probably turn on the shower just because these suckers take so long to heat up but one thing that I'm doing tonight is just going to put a, a little bit of essential oil just on like the floor so this seam just you know makes it smell pretty while I'm in the shower Michelle Reed actually does this so hopefully it will help um so I'm gonna shower quick. Actually, I don't shower quick. I take super, super long showers, which is fine. And then I will show you my routine once I get out of the shower. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And you can tell this is post shower because we are beautifully fogged up. Okay, so essential oil game changer, okay? Game changer, 10 out of 10, do it. And obviously, like I didn't mention anything that's clear, like shower shoes, like don't put your towel on any surfaces that like people can put their butts on. That shampoo, I do think, slowly but surely, it's taking out my pink. However, it is making my hair quite oily and quite dry. So what I put in it is this Argan oil, which I personally love. However, I think my hair has like, this is gonna sound stupid, has become immune to it because I had been using it for honestly years. So I feel like I don't get the same effect that I did when I first started using it. But it's still a ton of time. So I really like it. And I honestly use a good bit. And your it says on the directions to only use this when your hair is wet, but I use it when it's dry too. I think it does more that way. So usually I would put on lotion after this, but I keep forgetting to put lotion in my little basket. So I'm gonna check when I'm back in my room if I have any more. And if I do, I would put some on, you know, to prevent those right. 